What's up? Action here. I'm back again uh, with another video. So today guys, um, gagawin natin. So ito po yung bibel ko for my next Aorus team na gaming PC. It's going to be a all AMD build. Yan makikita nyo. It's Ryzen and X570 chipset. Then, uh, ito po yung bago nila. It's a Gigabyte Radeon RX 5700 XT na custom card. So, makita nyo guys yung performance nito lahat na i-build ko for the second video na. Yan. So, for this video, ang gagawin ko is i-unbox lang natin tong uh, Radeon RX na 5700 XT Gaming OC 8G. Uh, ito po yung WinForce cooling system nila. So, yung tatlo po yung fan niya. Makikita nyo mamaya guys. Unboxing muna natin to. Ayan, makikita nyo. Actual card. Uh, focus natin yung mga features niya. So, makikita to mamaya guys. Ito po yung mga build. It's a Ryzen build. Ang processor na gagamitin ko for the ano, uh, build na Aorus Team. It's a AMD Ryzen 7 na 3800X. Wow, sin pa. Yan. Thank you, Boss Martin. And also, uh, ay wait. Ay, Boss Martin. Thank you. Uh, Gigabyte Aorus uh, for this cup meron po siyang uh, personalized na action C ayan i-close up ko na lang yan mamaya boss thank you dito ayan so actually hindi bagay sa akin itong ganitong sombrero eh no ayan no? pero I appreciate thank you boss dito mayroon siyang action C natuwa yung wife ko yung nakita niya to and also uh, boss Thank you din dito. Pinadala mo ako ng ano, Aorus Cooler. This is the new ATC 800. Kasi last time guys, nagbuo ako nitong Aorus dun sa timelapse build. Is marami po nagalit. Gumamit po kami ng ano, uh, Intel Cooler. So, the reason why kung bakit yon is tatama po kasi pag nag-vertical mount. Okay? So, kaya hindi po kami gumamit. Yung last time na forgot the model, uh, yung, ito kasing bago eh, ATC 800. Forgot the model yung una nilang malaking ano box type na ano cooler na air cooler so i-comment nyo na lang guys ayan so tatama po kasi yung Aorus card dun so uh, kaya po kami nag-decide na Intel cooler na yung gamitin namin ayan so thank you boss Martin dito ayan may cooler na tayo so so makikita nyo din guys yung performance ito ilalagay po namin uh, dito sa cooler uh, sa processor pala na Ryzen 7 na 3800X boss Martin thank you din pala dito uh, for this, ano, Lego. Hindi ko pa siya nabubuo. Ayan. Uh, it's a Lego. Uh, it's a malboard. Ayan. Thank you, boss, dito. Medyo tamad talaga ako magbuo ng Lego. <laughs> Tsaka, binigay din ako ni Boss Martin. Sa akin na ba ito, boss? Uh, yung thumb drive. Flash drive. I don't know kung ilang ano. May ako na i-check yan. And ito nga pala, guys, yung Aorus NVMe na Gen 4. Uh, this na SSD M.2 drives. Nakikita nyo yung performance ito, Aorus NVMe na Gen 4 SSD. So, 1 terabyte ata ito. Uh, dun sa second video, gagawin ko dun is a vlog style na na build. Tapos, uh, mag-benchmark po tayo dun. Check natin yung performance nito, mga to na Aorus Steam. Also nga pala guys, this is a X570 na Aorus na Extreme na malabor yung gamitin. I think this is a top of the line nila na X570. Tama ba? Yes, parang ito ata. Hindi, may wind, ano pa, may water force pa. Ah, that's for the Intel nga pala na ano, na Z390. So, I think this is a, ano, top of the line nila na, ano, na X570 na chipset. Uh, this is a 16 phases na VRM. Ayan, so malalaman natin. Mag, mag-overclock, eh, hindi, check ko lang guys ha, baka, hindi na ako mag-overclock nito, baka i-PBO ko na lang auto-overclock. So, malalaman din natin, uh, clock speed, ng processor ng ano Ryzen 7 na 3800X so, yan. so very excited for that uh, benchmark makikita nyo rin yun uh, and also yung temperature also guys yung case nga pala this is a brand new na AC300 ba to? Uh, this is a tempered glass na so maganda dito ang ginawa nila sa tempered glass kasi makikita nyo wala kayong makikita ng thumb screw ay no sa gilid dito sa apat di ba normally mga case is naglalagay sila so ang inimplement nila dito is dalawang thumb screw dito sa gilid ay no dito po mamaya i sa next video na yung guys kasi focus muna tayo dito sa card okay all right so check muna natin yung uh, 5700XC na Radeon RX ng gaming OC 8G ng gigabyte Alright guys, so unboxing natin guys, ito yung box ng Gigabyte Gaming OC 8G. Uh, this is a custom card, AMD Radeon RX 5700X. 
XT. So based on the 7 nanometer, uh, also has a fidelity FX. This is a image quality toolkit from AMD. Ito yung nilagay nila for the ano, guys uh, Radeon RX uh, 5700 series. Also has a FreeSync 2 HDR. I'll do check guys, meron akong dumating dito ng monitor then uh, from uh, Arrows. It's a new uh, monitor. Hindi, wala pa sa market pero makikita nyo on the next video na. Based on the RDNA architecture, ayan. So also, meron din tong RGB Fusion uh, 2.0 support. And also yung fan na ginamit dito, yung tatlong fan is WinForce technology na. So mamaya hindi discuss natin yan. And uh, this is a overclock edition na card. Ayan, makikita nyo. This is the front. Uh, sa likod, ayan, makikita nyo. Uh, some of the features so, alamin din natin yan mamaya so, nakita na natin yung actual card so buksan natin yung card makita nyo then another box it's a quick guide and so this is the card guys remove natin makita nyo guys is protected po siya ng foam once for example nag order kayo online Uy, okay, so first look guys of the ano, Gaming OC 8G by Gigabyte. Ayan. So this is the WinForce Triple Cooling System. Ayan, tatlong fan po yan. Guys, this card is powered by EMD Radeon RX 5700 XT based on the RDNA architecture. So meron siyang triple fan design. Ayan, nakikita nyo. So meron siyang 8GB na GDDR6 na 256-bit na memory interface. Okay, so yan, win for ipapakita ko sa inyo yung sync and color uh, dun na sa second video na, okay? Also has a metal backplate, mamaya i-explain ko yan kung ano yung use nyan. Uh, this card is supported by a PCIe Express uh, 4.0, yan. Uh, for the core clock, start tayo for the base clock is this has a 1650MHz. Dun sa reference card is meron siyang 1605MHz. Uh, for the game clock, 1795MHz. Sa reference card naman is 1755. Boost clock, up to 1905MHz. Yan, makikita natin yung performance on the second video na. Ayan, pakita ko sa inyo. Uh, sa so gaming performance, plus natin sa mga latest games, uh, lahat na ilalaro ko dito, makita nyo yung benchmark nito and yung thermal performance ng card na to. Okay, quick overview muna uh, dito sa ano, uh, exterior ng card. Closer look natin guys, Radeon RX 5700 XT. Tapos ay triple fan design. Ayan, makikita nyo. Then, on this side, uh, meron po siyang logo dito na Gigabyte. Port na uh, RGB Fusion 2.0. Meron po siyang LED illumination. So, for the power connector, meron to siyang 6 plus 2 pin. And then, the other one is 6 pin. So, dalawang kailangan nyo dito. So, makikita nyo guys, meron siyang LED. So, pag nakailaw po yan guys, ibig sabihin yung power cable po is disconnected. Okay, for example, naka fully modular po kayo, hindi nyo nakabit, iilaw po yan. So, that indicates hindi po nakakabit yung cable. Pag naka-off naman po yung ilaw, ayan, may LED yan guys, makikita nyo, ayan o, yung kulay puti na yun. So, pag naka-off naman po yung ilaw, ibig sabihin po, stable po yung power. Okay? Kunwari, nakita nyo, nagbi-blink, so, ibig sabihin, abnormal po yung power supply. Ibig sabihin po, may, baka may sira. So, okay to para, you know, mas madali siyang i-troubleshoot. Very nice feature ng video card doon. So, dito, dito sa likod, uh, meron siyang metal backplate. So, ito guys, nakakatulong to for the enhance ng overall at structure ng video card. Ayan, uh, nakakabit po siya sa PCB. So, nakakatulong din to. Ayan, may nakita kasi ako doon dito yung thermal pad dito sa ilalim para makul tong ano pero i think guys sa tuloy din for ano uh, heat dissipation yeah so check lang natin kung pagka naka load yung ano GPU hawakan natin baka umiinit to yun for the connector uh, meron po siyang uh, tatlong DP display port and one uh, HDMI 2.0 ayan makikita nyo this is a two slot design ang kakainin po ng slot uh, for the uh, expansion slot nyo dun sa case is dalawa po Ayan. So, meron din po siyang uh, cutout or vents dito para sumingaw po yung init dyan. Okay? So, move on tayo dun sa fan. Uh, ito po yung fan nila, uh, technology. This is the WinForce na technology ng Gigabyte. So, tatlo po yan, triple fan design. Ang uh, maganda dito guys, yung alternate spinning. So, mapapansin nyo guys, ito yung uh, dito sa left fan and dito sa right fan. Ang ikot po ng fan, for example, kapag ganyan, pa-counter, clockwise. Okay? Ayan. So, pag ganun po yung... Uh, rotation, then itong sa gitna is clockwise po yung rotation niya. So, Christian, bakit ganun? Ang maganda nun is para yung smooth yung airflow. Hindi po sila magsasalubong yung hangin. Pag ginawa kasi ng standard spinning, ang mangyayari nun, for example, lahat yan, nakaikot na ganyan, magsalubong yung hangin. So, hindi maganda yun. Kaya, ang ginawa nila, 
uh, dito is yung alternate spinning, yung gitna, iniba nila. So, yung dalawa is parehas, counterclockwise, then ito is clockwise. Okay? So, yun yun, for better heat dissipation. Alright? Kung ipofocus natin yung fan blade, guys, makikita nyo, meron siyang unique blade fan. Ang maganda nun, guys, is para ma-effective yung airflow directly towards dun sa papunta sa heat sink para mag-guide yung mga hangin mismo for effectively yung ma-enhance nyo yung airflow. Okay? Yan. So, makita nyo. That's the surface. Okay? Makita nyo. Uh, check lang natin to. Yan. That's it, guys. Uh, that's a quick overview lang ng Gigabyte Gaming OC na 8G na Radeon RX 5700 XT. So, for the, ano guys, uh, performance and benchmark, uh, makikita nyo to. Hard performance uh, yung thermal. So, then, uh, ipiplay natin mga games, mga latest games na lagi ko nalalaro uh, for the second video niya. Alright guys, so nakita niyo ang unboxing uh, ng Gigabyte Gaming OC na 8G Radeon RX 5700 XT. Yun guys, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, for the second video, makita niyo yung performance uh, nito, yung thermals and yung benchmark. Ayan, so together, i-build ko siya, uh, makita niyo yun. And also guys, yung ano, uh, yung lahat ng components dito is makikita nyo din on the second video niya. I-unbox natin, check din natin lahat. So, for this video lang kasi is nakafocus ako sa uh, video card. So guys, out of sa market, yung Radeon RX 5700 XT ng gaming OC ni Gigabyte. So, please do check out na lang guys yung pricing. Uh, I think nasa ano siya, around 25, mga ganun, 24, 26, mga ganun din. Basta guys, yung mga pricing kasi ng 5700 XT, last time nakapag, ano, 24 to 26,000. So, I think, nasa mga ganung price range siya. So, please check na lang guys sa mga favorite retailers nyo or dealers nyo. And also guys, uh, yung mga full parts list na pinakita ko dito, full specs nandun sa description ng video. Uh, if you want to order online sa Lazada and mga ganun, so yan lalagay ko pa rin dun. Okay? So, for the second video, ulitin ko, uh, yung benchmark, uh, build video, build lag, yung mga ganun, and yung ano, uh, performance. Ayan, makita nyo yung thermals, and yun, sa lahat na to. Okay? So, there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ako upload sa action. So, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.